shocking after southern governors Mopun put a ban on open grazing. The Ewo of Iko has reiterated again. I want all Fulanese to come to Iwo land. This has sparked up a lot of reactions among, especially those in the southwestern region, asking him, what is wrong with you? Are you okay? You know, this is the man, a traditional ruler, who said some time ago that he wants um, Fulani headsmen to, re to, re to relocate to Iko. In fact, he specifically stated the number he wanted. He's looking at uh, a minimum of 10 million. He has a self-ambition to fulfill, and that part of that ambition is to ensure that he produces the next president he said by the time he has the numbers he can begin to determine what happens in politics so for him is another way of him getting into politics through the back door he gives them home they are loyal to him so he says and they are able to listen to him and with that he's able to you know uh, begin to get his feet into politics and lead as he will want and prefer to be, which is like a godfather position, if you would like to say. Mm -hmm. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's understand what is really happening. After Southern governors put a ban on open grazing, Oluwo of Iwo has reiterated again that indeed the Fulanese can relocate with their cattle to Iwo. See how Nigerians have replied. The Oluwa of Iwo in Oshun State, Oba Adewale Akimbi, on Tuesday, converged dead and agreed to dead penalties for kidnappers, ritualists, and corrupt people in Nigeria. This is said will be a vital and a good way to solve most of Nigerians' problems, including banditry, corruption and insurgency excuse me if you want to talk about corruption yes this law we apply to the the small ones the low the low hanging fruits the real ones are on top of the tree hmm? either you climb you shake the tree vigorously hard or you climb the tree or get a very long stick to be able to give you access those are the ones in Asso rock senate uh reps representative and you name it governors and the rest, okay? So let's continue. He said this would be a very good way to solve most of Nigerians' problem, including banditry, corruption, and insurgency. Oba Akimbu, Akin, Akinbi was speaking at the Farmers' Headers Summit. He organized in Iwo to discuss Nigerian security challenges and way forward. He said there must be death penalty for kidnappers and no, and no human rights advocates should kick against that. Nigerian government must begin to kill corrupt people, irresponsible, irresponsible and those who are causing this problem. They must, they could be Fulani headsmen, Yoruba tribe, Igbos or any tribe for that matter. If the security forces cannot enforce the law, then there will be anarchy. Ritualists, corrupt people, kidnappers will be going free. On solving the headers farmers problem, the monarch urged the Fulanese who live in the Kuo to work with constituted authority and traditional leaders to identify criminals who are penetrating their rank. He said, I have heard of the ban being, in, being, in, being imposed by the southern governors. However, in Iwo, we welcome headers to come into our land for they can bring their cattle and do as they please so long as they obey the law in place. I want to work with them to identify criminals penetrating the rank so that we can jointly together call for the expulsion of them from the southwest and peace and normalcy can return and the full Anis can return back to the land. You would chase the you would chase the criminals away by working with the chiefs and security agencies. I say stand by my words that Fulani headsmen should come to Iwo, but I don't want criminals because they will they can disturb the peace of the land. Oba Akimbi also called for recruitment of more policemen, community policing, granting of constitutional rules to traditional rulers and diversion of power concentrated at the central to the traditional rulers and down the ranks so that security can be effectively managed.
security challenges would be significantly solved if the government and traditional leaders constituted powers also prefer and diverge the powers restructured and stay in in the is that is resided in the in the one office being shared down the ranks then we can begin to have some form of truth so this is what is happening after the governors of the south all the governors came together and one of the uh, premise of the gathering was to discuss issues relevant to the uh, region with regards to insecurity. They looked at it and they said, we need to stop it. We need to curb it. We need to ensure that we keep our people safe. So what have they done? They've gone ahead to say, you know what, let's implement no, no open grazing. This will go a long way to solve some of the problem which they have put in place. However, Uluwafi was saying that if they come to Iwo, he is working with them to ensure that there are no more criminals and that they will work together to ensure that they export criminals out of the land and things can go well and then people can be able to live their life. He's still inviting them to come. He's still saying that he stands by his words that gives the, you know, full and his opportunity to come into the land and have, you know, free full flow. However, he's saying that they must work with the constituted authority, they must work with him, they must work with security, and um, he's appealing to uh, the federal government to, you know, constitutionally release some duty and, uh, you know, powers that are being concentrated in the, in the upper region down to, to flow down the ranks so that, I mean, there'll be more job, more, uh, you know, your job description, more proper development for all. You see, so Lou of Iwo is still reiterating and calling for, you know, the 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 establishment of uh, uh, Fulani headsmen coming to Iwo. So if you are in Iwo as this, good news to you. Your Oluwo is calling for more uh, Fulani headsmen to come into your land so that um, he can have people to put into presidency and to government and he can rule proxy through these people. You see, so you are good. You are in good. You are in good hands. So Lua Viwe is there for you. This is all happening in Oshun State. I don't know what will happen by the time the uh, the, the said ban on uh, you know headers comments. If this is going to affect how things will be, I don't know. We will wait, we'll wait and see. Yes, uh, this is what is happening currently now. As we begin to really understand what Oluwa Fiwo is all about. We would like to hear from you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you to have a fantastic day. Bye for now.